What is clear flight pied budgie? You probably came across this variety and have mistaken it with another one, like the dominant pied mutation. Although they both have the pied in the name, but they are actually different mutations, which means your budgie may have both mutations and they are totally separate ones. Without further ado, let's learn more about this mutation and what separates this mutation from other pied mutations and how we can distinguish the clear flight pied mutation and what are the genetics behind it. Let's start by looking at how to identify the clear flight pied budgie. There are two main features we need to look at in order to identify the clear flight pied budgie. First one is the clear patch on the back of your parakeet's head. It is very noticeable patch on the back of your bird's head. And by clear, I mean it makes the feathers color yellow if the bird is green or white if the bird is blue. Basically, it reverts the feathers back to the base color of your budgie. And the second feature is the clear flight feathers, which is where this variety name came from. If we compare a clear flight by budgie flight feathers to a normal budgie, you can clearly see the difference between the feathers. The normal budgie has its flight feathers black, whilst the clear flight pied has its flight feathers cleared and reverted back to the base color. For example, look at this clear flight pied budgie with the clipped wings. Since we only clip the flight feathers, the only thing this clear flight pied differs from a normal one is the clear patch on its head. Sometimes, the clear flight pied budgie has the major covered feathers which are the feathers above the flight feathers also cleared. If you forgot or don't know what are the covers, I do encourage you to go and watch my video about budgie typography where we covered all the budgie's features. I'll keep a link in the description for that video. Now if you remember from the dominant pied video, Dominant pied budgies, whether they are single or double factor, they also have clear patch on the back of their heads. And also, we could see the pied markings on their wings. I'll keep a link in the description for that video. So, how can we differentiate between them and clear flight pied? Well, the clear flight pied budgie, unlike the dominant pied, its body doesn't get affected. Or if it does, it is usually on the top part of the chest under the neck. Or maybe little feathers here and there that are barely noticeable. Look at the difference between this clear flight pied budgie and the dominant pied budgie. Now let's see the genes behind this mutation. The clear flight pied is dominant gene which means it is enough to have one allele clear flight pied of the two alleles for this gene to express itself. We refer to this gene in the letter C, which is an abbreviation of clear flight pied, a capital C if the budgie is carrying this gene, and a small letter C if the budgie does not. Now let's jump into the Punnett square to see the breeding results of this mutation. If we breed one normal budgie with one clear flight by budgie split with normal, then 50% of the offspring will be clear flight by. And if we breed a normal budgie with a clear flight by that has a homozygous clear flight by genes, then all the offspring will be clear flight by budgies. However, as we can see from the Punnett square, all the offspring will be clear flight by budgies split to normal. However, since this gene is dominant, they will all look clear flight pied budgies. Because one allele carrying this gene, it is enough for the budgie to be clear flight pied. Hopefully you understand the clear flight pied mutation clearly now. And we'll see you in the next variety video.
for more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to their channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up.